Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to talk about authorization a little bit. We have already created a gateway and auth service and now building the housing service. But how actually the authorization is happening once you do the login? Yes, we are getting this uh, JWT token and the refresh token. So this JWT token is at the client side and there now the client will send this JWT token in the request. Now how this gateway is validating first of all this gateway is also doing the jwt dot verify which your service is doing and this gateway will validate okay this token is valid or not if not okay i can return you the through the exception right away or i will send the request to the downstream service which is auth service and how we can do the customization here because a lot of uh, some authorization already happened here because we are accessing the request dot header dot authorization at the gateway level now can i send just some metadata information at the service level so for that uh, i will just talk about this simple code which i added to the gateway level so this is our gateway service app module here you can call this you can use this remote graphql data source this is like a standardization of the the request which you are sending to the subgraph services and can customize the headers so what i'm doing here is from this handle auth from this handle auth we are returning the user id permissions and authorization the same attributes i'm getting here in the context and then uh, accessing that from the context and i'm setting these special headers so that because what we are doing is we are setting these properties inside the request http headers so before sending these things to the target microservice we can customize the headers and can send the some of the properties we have already validated the the token but still at uh, at the subgraph service we may be interested in knowing the user role user id and all those things so to make it easy we don't need to decode at the microservice level we can send them in the headers also so this is how you can just use it build service is a part of gateway you can just pass it and then you can pass the so here even you can customize the the name of the headers based on the subgraph service name so these are the name if the name is user i will be just invoking this remote graphql data source and will be sending these headers so the same i'm going to explain how it really is working we have already seen this demo so here is my simple gateway services running and this is my auth services running so what we are doing is we are, i'm just doing a simple demo where we can just simply do is simply create a user or a login a user i already have this user so i will just log in with this and i get a simple token so this token i can set inside a bearer header save and now i can call this refresh token api so now refresh token is a protected api and this this response is coming from subgraph service right the the refresh token so if we look into the headers what i'm doing is at the auth service i'm trying to print what i kind of headers we are getting inside our guard so i'm get, i'm just trying to console.log the request.headers and these are the headers we are getting from the source service here is the header you can see and in this header i can see the permissions user id and the authorization so all these information has been forwarded to the client microservice the subgraph service now subgraph service uh, you can validate this authorization header which i will recommend because right now all the subgraph services are also exposed to the public I mean that depends on how we are building the architecture right now this is also on the public domain this is also on the public domain there is no centralized api gateway i mean if we do it in the right way then these subgraph services should not be exposed directly to the outside world only the gateway can call in that case we can skip putting the authorization logic here for validating the token again otherwise we will just call the gateway gate will we already know that auth service can get the request from the gateway only so we don't need to worry about who is sending the request because gateway is already validating the token and then just forwarding the permissions and uh, user role user id because these properties we can access inside the resolvers of the subgraph directly because i may need to fetch the 
the number of homes the the homes data for currently logged in user so i already have a user id i already have its permission so i can just do the role based authorization at the resolver level all those things are possible because we are exposing these headers to the subgraph service so here uh, you can see there is another uh, here is another api is let's say user by find by email this is a protected api so could not authenticate with the token user does not have the permission so this is the different one because this is first of all protected api and role based authorization has been added how we are doing it with the help of admin guard so if you look at the resolver here in our code user resolver create user and here find by email get by email i'm also using admin guard right so admin guard what the admin, admin guard is doing is it is checking if you have the permissions is admin permission means your permission should include and bit admin then only you are allowed so this is how we can add the authorization at the subgraph service and authentication at the gateway level so what we will do is next thing is just uh, looking into the composition how all those things are happening at the gateway level and we will build this uh, home manager microservice and we will use these uh, apollo graphql directives